This is Port Arthur, Texas, and it's many reminders of small-town 1960s glory. But today, some of the city is falling apart. Uh, this street used to be a really vibrant area teeming with life and businesses, but as you can see, it's pretty much run down right now. Port Arthur was built on a gush of oil wealth, and the money that's still here now looks like this. Nine plants, from waste management to oil and chemicals. The result is rampant pollution and rampant cancer. The way we feel about it, Port Arthur, Texas has become the dumping ground, it appears, for the United States. Locals fear it's about to get worse. A French-owned waste company called Veolia wants to bring 20,000 tons of toxins across the border from Mexico and burn them here in Port Arthur. Importing toxins is illegal. But the Environmental Protection Agency has initially approved Veolia's request, citing global environmental benefits. Well, who's next? Germany? Uh, Ireland? Russia? Anybody will be able to bring that toxic waste that they can't dump in their own country here to Port Arthur, Texas. The toxins Veolia seeks to import are called PCBs, long associated with disastrous health and environmental problems. Right now we're heading over our north uh, stormwater levee uh, into the incinerator complex. Daniel Duncan is Veolia's plant manager for safety. This is our rotary kiln here. It's uh, 60 feet long. If the company has its way, the PCBs will be burned to ash inside this incinerator, which for 16 years has been disposing toxins from around the United States. And we think that's the right thing to do, to import these PCBs and destroy them in a, with a known technology uh, in an incinerator um, to, that we're assured of um, will have safe destruction so that they're no uh, longer in existence as opposed to leaving them down in Mexico. Uh, where their storage conditions are uncertain and they could be released and enter the environment to the Gulf of Mexico and have a negative impact on the United States. Mr. Duncan says the incinerator is more than 99 percent effective. Others point to a history of violations and question the plant's ability to safeguard the city. The EPA will issue a final decision after August. This is Adam Ellick reporting from Port Arthur, Texas.